Okay, quick video explaining why we see virtual images in mirrors. If we have an object here, a person, and we have an observer, somebody looking uh, into a mirror, and here's the mirror, and they're looking into that mirror at that person, well, how do they see them? Well, what happens is light from the person's head here travels down, hits the mirror, according to the, ang the laws of reflection, remember, this angle must be the same as this angle here, we always draw our arrows on, and that's what happens. Now our eyes don't believe, we know that light travels in straight lines. So our brain intuitively knows that light travels in straight lines, and it, ha it can't deal with the fact that it turns, changes direction here. So what it does, we imagine that that light has traveled along this line here. Now the person's feet does exactly the same, the light from the person's feet does exactly the same thing. It hits the mirror, and it reflects back into our eyes as well so we can see the whole person, the bottom of the object as well. And again, our brain can't deal with the fact that this light has changed direction, so we imagine that this light came from out here. Now, we see a person, so what we see actually is that we imagine, our brain tells us that we see a person and that person is stood over here. It appears that the person is stood behind the mirror, even though there's no real image. And this is a virtual image, it is upright, and it is the same size as well, so non-magnified. It appears that the person is stood exactly the same distance behind the mirror that the person here is in front of the mirror. And that's why people appear virtual in a mirror.